Tiny Temper Disturbing London Link Up TV, yo. So basically we're at Wireless, Wireless 2014. This is the Friday, so this is the day with myself, um, Pharrell, Kanye West, those of other incredible people. I'm very, very excited. This is like the fifth year, the fifth year I've done Wireless. So I've pretty much done it since the very, very beginning of Wireless. And now we're here. So just about to go on before two of my biggest idols. It couldn't be a better day and the weather's great as well. Press done, press over. I'm, after this, I get so disorientated. There's like, this way, that way, that way, that way. But yeah, the press is all done. See, while I'm working, people are getting a massage over there, living life, enjoying themselves. But this is the sacrifice that we have to make. I'm going to try and see if I can find Pharrell very quickly, um, say hi, and then I'm going to just go and get ready and do my thing. Cool. Yes, sir. See you in a minute. See you, man. Like oh, it's definitely, bro. That's See you, yeah. God bless. These are all the people that have like inspired me to, to, to do everything that I'm trying to do now. So it's good. And, and, and just to know that a lot of people at that level are really humble as well and down to earth, even though they've achieved so much, is, is a nice thing and it's a reassuring thing as well. So I'm happy, man. I feel blessed. Now I just need to make sure the show's good. So I'm going to go warm up and I'll see you in a minute. Getting in the barrel of a 12 gauge magnum. Who's that standing on the trigger finger squinting at me? Looking in the barrel of a 12 gauge magnum. That's why I'm walking like this. The tea's not even dropping professional, bro. It's amazing, like, we've started from wireless from when he was in an introduction stage to like now main stage, Steve Homer and the host Live Nation. Um, family, they've been amazing to us and they've been supporting us. They support all my new acts and I hope my new acts have, have the journey, the same platform and the journey that T has coming from the introduction stage to now doing the main headline stage. It's like a relationship basically, like we've been together for five years now and we have our arguments, we have our ups, we have our downs, like all couples do. But, ah, you know, it's, <laughs> it's performing on stage that just gets us through. There's something that happens on stage here that bonds us together that no one else, because no one else experiences it. Maybe like the band sometimes, but sometimes the band will change, but there's something that me and Charles have experienced for the past five years on stage. It's like a relationship that no one else gets to see. So that only we know, and I think that that's what keeps it so special, but that's my brother for life, man. on that stage is cra it's crazy do you know what I think sometimes it helps if you've done something before so like because we've done the wireless festival before it's like a familiar crowd it's like you know when you go to like a fa like a family gathering or whatever and then you go and meet some in-laws or whatever for the first time it's always awkward but then when you do it again and again it gets easier and easier so yeah we're just happy man I felt like there was literally like 60 50 60 thousand of my best friends man like everyone just wanted to have a good time and enjoy themselves and that's what festivals are about you know for me like that's why they're my favorite thing to do because everyone gets drunk everyone has a good time and people just want to be entertained and, and, I, and I feel like we do that really well so happy another one bites the dust man and we're literally just about to do press and then we're going to go and hit the stage so just follow us around we're going to be here hanging out with kiss and loads of other stations so yes watch
feels really good. I like that was our second ever performance after yesterday at Wireless Birmingham. Uh, we just got back from a, a DJ set and we just got here in time and the crowd were amazing. Feeling quite emotional if I'm honest. <laughs> Zing Zago, Jacob Banks, uh, all about she. It was good fun, man. So many people came out to see them. It's always a blessing to perform with other UK acts. It was wonderful. Yesterday in Birmingham when we did it, they knew the words, but today, London represented. Thank you so much. So I just came off stage, uh, it was amazing, I had such a good time, I'm really sweaty and nice and that was the second time I played wireless and it was definitely a lot more of a vibe and a lot better than the last, I feel. But yeah, killing it, doing it, wireless 2014, finished. I love Sasha's music man, it's like, it's, completely, it's different, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it reminds me of like old school like 90s stuff. Reminds me a bit like there's, there's a bit of Lauren Hill in there, and, but then added with like how amazing her voice is, it's like a really combination. Um, but I, just, I love all the sounds she uses as well. I know it's getting a bit like more intricate, but I love all the sounds that she uses in her music, and it's kind of got like a bit of a jazzy element as well, which I really love. Um, but I've known Sasha for years, and she's a good pal, um, so it's good to finally see her on stage, and it was good to see her absolutely own it. So yeah, big up Sasha Keeble, big things. Guan dem for the Sasha dem. Peace and love.